Howdy kids, it's me, Bob Harris, Senior Editor of FootballDiaries.com. We're doing the uh, Week 2 Saturday Injury Preview, Review, Overview, and Update kind of thing. Uh, we'll touch base on some of the bigger issues before we get into the, uh, some of the more questionable guys. Uh, Zeke, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, good to go this week. He'll play. The NFL filed a motion, an emergency motion, to uh, stay the injunction that's allowing him to play. Uh, they'd like a decision by week three. They're looking, they'll take it out to week four if they need to. And there's no telling what's going to happen with this. None of us are lawyers. Well, some of you are lawyers, aren't you? Um, but I'm not. So this is just going to be a weekly process. We'll go through it this week. He is locked and loaded, ready to play. Play him if you got him. Uh, and look for him to get more goal line touches this week if they get inside the five-yard line. In addition, David Johnson, as we all know, is out. Uh, done until Bruce Arians says about Christmas or dislocated wrist. He had surgery this week. Uh, they'll replace him in the Arizona with a with a number of guys. Kerwin Williams will get the first start. Andre Ellington, first man off the bench, kind of the change of pace guy. Chris Johnson's been re-signed. They've got Elijah Penny there. He may see some action. They signed DJ Foster, Foster off the Patriots practice squad. But those first three, uh, Williams, Ellington, and Johnson, are going to chop this thing up a little bit. Williams gets first shot. I mean, uh, nobody's going to replace David Johnson. No single guy is going to replace David Johnson. So keep that in mind when you're spending your free agent money on these people. Allen Robinson done for the year. Torn ACL last week. Marquise Lee and Allen Hearns, the top two guys there. Uh, you know, look, they're not going to pass the ball out in Jacksonville. Okay, and, and there are guys down the roster that may be interesting, but, you know, this is the Leonard Fournette show. We saw it last week. Expect more of the same going forward, especially if that defense keeps getting the job done like they did against Houston. Uh, Doug Marone will be happy to do nothing but run the ball all day. Danny Wood head out probably eight weeks. He's been on place on IR, so he can return after eight weeks. Uh, Saturday morning, they released, they waived Jeremy Langford, who they promoted from the practice squad. They moved Alex Collins, the former Seahawk, up. Uh, but this is Buck Allen. Well, Terrence West will start, and Buck Allen will chip in, probably be the receiving back. Uh, beyond that, Sam Bradford listed as questionable, had an MRI on his knee earlier this week. Uh, they're downplaying the issue. It's worth noting, though, that Adam Thielen and Case Keenum were seen working together after practice on Friday, I think it was, Thursday or Friday. So that adds a little bit of angst to the whole situation. I would expect him to play. If he doesn't, I would be very worried about uh, Stephon Diggs and Thielen. So, and Davin Cook is still good to go. It's a tough matchup against Pittsburgh, but it's a good game. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, maybe your starter this week. Uh, Chuck Pagano won't confirm it. Uh, but we saw how bad Scott Tolzien was last week. It would make perfect sense to make the switch. Jacoby Brissett will at least throw the ball downfield, it appears. Uh, Chester Rogers could return. He's listed as questionable. He'd be the number three receiver. Again, given the quarterback situation for the Colts, uh, you know, back off these wide receivers a bit. And by the way, on Andrew Luck, still hasn't resumed practicing. No telling when he'll be back. You know, they could have put him on the pup and opened a roster spot up through week six. So you'd think they had a pretty good feeling that they would get him back before week six, but nobody really knows. It's uh, turned into quite a, a cluster fudge there, right? Uh, John Brown's ruled out uh, for the Cardinals, by the way, this week. Uh, Jerron Brown, J.J. Nelson move up in the rotation. May see rookie Chad Williams. Some Larry Fitzgerald looks like a great place. The Colts defense, right? Same with the running backs. I mean, it's a pretty good matchup. Carson Palmer as well had a horrible week last week, I know. Um, but, you know, this, this is a much better matchup for all of them. Jermaine Gresham, a tight end, also questionable there as well, so... That's one we'll have to watch. Uh, for the Chicago Bears at Tampa Bay, uh, Jordan Howard's list is questionable. All indications are he will play, but he was limited all week by a sore shoulder, so maybe that will limit his snaps as well. We all know what Tariq Cohen is capable of. We saw it last week. I think expecting the number of touches Tariq Cohen got on a weekly basis is a little bit of a reach, but maybe he'll emerge. Remember, he's 5'6", 180. Uh, not really set for a feature, you know, built for a feature role, but and Jordan Howard is, so... This may be a week-to-week -week kind of situation. Also for the Bears, Marcus Wheaton is questionable. Josh Bellamy is questionable. They've got issues at receiver. They lost, you know, they lost another one last week, Kevin White. So uh, problems there as well. Benny Cunningham listed as doubtful for the Bears. Vance McDonald for the Steelers listed as questionable. No big deal there. Jesse James is uh, will be the starter no matter what at tight end. Uh, Danny Amendola ruled out for the Pats. What does this mean? Will Chris Hogan see more time in the slot where he saw some time last week after Amendola went down? Uh, there's local observers think uh, Rex Burkhead could be busier. James White was very busy last week. Look, this is a great matchup this week. The Saints defense, not that good. Patriots defense, not that good. Uh, get some, get a piece of this game if you can. Uh, I like Kobe Fleener a little bit too if you read my DFS 3 and out column. And I like Hogan as well. I think the prices in DFS are good on both of those guys. In the late afternoon kickoffs on Sunday, Jarvis Landry listed as questionable. He had some swelling in his knee on Friday. All indications are he will play as usual. Uh, Jason Barrett is out for the Chargers, so... 
Uh, Casey Hayward's still a great shutdown corner, but they used to have two of those, or they have two of those, but Barrett is out, so that works in uh, maybe Devontae Parker's favor some, and certainly in Landry some. Uh, Terrence Williams is questionable for the Cowboys. Uh, he sprained his ankle on the first play against the Giants, but played through that game, so uh, it seems likely that he'll play again this week. He was just limited practice. Josh Doxton for the Redskins, again limited. They're playing the Rams. Who knows what to make of this guy? You know, at some point, he could emerge as our best receiver. I wrote about this on the site. Check the news, uh, the, the late-breaking updates for some more details on that. But for right now, you can't trust him. J Jamison Crowder had the groin issue, but he's off the injury report. Monday night's the big decision, right? Odell Beckham uh, listed as questionable this morning, officially. Uh, and uh, all indications are he's going to give it a go. Um, this was said to be a six- to eight-week injury. He said it was a six- to eight-week injury. This is about the fifth week, so... If he does go, he won't be 100%. That offense clearly not hitting on all cylinders. So keep that in mind as you're setting your lineup. But it's very hard to bench Odell if he's, if he's in the lineup. The problem is Monday night kickoff, right? Are you going to have some backup options? You don't want to take a zero. So think this one through carefully and watch the uh, main page of the site. I'll have all kinds of updates up there through kickoff to help you get in front of that one. Golden Tate also has a sore finger in that one, guys. So... Uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be an issue. He practiced fully on Friday and, and, and should be good to go. Otherwise, check out all the columns available to you right now. The sit start by Brad Cruz, Armando Marsal's uh, DFF, DFS pivots, all kinds of good stuff. Tons of information up there. Uh, John Lobb's uh, DraftKings uh, sheet of knowledge is always one that I read in my DFS three now. Jen Ryan, snap counts and targets. Uh, don't miss out on any of it. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, good luck in week two. Get some wins. Take home some money, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks.